Hello there and welcome back. My name is Elena and I'm Fotios and this is the Game Court. And this is another super duper awesome game review for you. And this time we have selected for you this cute little game here. It's called 4-1 Galactics and is uh, designed by Run and Kinesia and published by Smith Games. Now, we wouldn't necessarily choose a very little game for you guys because, you know, we kind of like more the bigger games or something that offers something very different. The reason why we actually chose this game is because it's an awesome game. And it is, I have to mention, a solitaire game. So it's yes. a solo only game, isn't and it? And Elena likes it. Well, we like, I like it because we don't never play it. We always play it together. We don't never play it by a, you know, in a solo mode and it works brilliantly. Let's just go backwards a minute and say what the game is actually about. Before we go do that, can I please say that for us, it's not for one Galactics, it's for two Galactics? Yeah, it w I mean, <laughs> we we technically, we kind of house ruled it because Fortis was like, oh my goodness, let me show you this game. It's, it's such amazing. an amazing game. And I was like, what is that, a solo game? Not for me. And then we tried it. And you know that Elena is the dice chunker anyway. <laughs> so the game has dice, obviously. It's one of the push your luck running can easier games. And then I like that. Hey, it she works, right? It yeah, works. Exactly. So what the game's about. So you have spaceships. It can be white spaceships, which are the basic ones, grey spaceships, which can go a bit further, and black spaceships, which are kind of go are wild, can go anywhere they, anywhere you want. And with the spaceships, you want to go as further as you can in uh, five particular tracks, which are, which are five different planets. planets. Yeah. Exactly. Five different types of planets. And the further you go, the more the points. And how you good how you do that? You roll some dice. And if you have, uh, let's say, combos of the same planet, let's say three purple, then you can progress three on the purple track. And it's as simple as that. You can only roll and re-roll, like you can roll once and re-roll another time. That's it. That's it. It's very simple game. Very push your luck. You have the element of tools which you can collect, you can uh, do extra spaceships, so you can leave behind to get bonuses. You have some little black holes that will appear here and there, so you'll have to, you know, either roll more or use a grey ship to actually go further than that. Mm -hmm. So I think it's mainly just push your luck, but I think it works so well and it's so entertaining every time we play it. You might have some sort of like flags for that round. The objectives. You, objectives, you have to reach them, yes. You have to reach the objectives for you to win in order for you to win on that round. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes you might have no objectives and you just have to get to a certain amount of points, points yeah. so I think you know there's nothing negative about this game is just throwing the dice and praying that you're going to get another purple so you can get over that black hole and as you progress through the tracks there might be spaces that gives you extra spaceships and then you prolong yeah oh well, yeah you want to go and exactly. go and go exactly one's like oh my goodness if I roll oh, a two one more, and a one yellow more space I'll yeah. get another one exactly. that's fantastic also I did you mention a couple of tools give you another white ship I didn't mention that no but yeah two <laughs> so the tools are very important where you can for example um, if you do roll a uh, three yellow and the objective that you want objective or either whatever it an, is an there, space that yeah. you want to actually get is on space number two you cannot stop on space number two you have to go on space number exactly. three but using a tool that you've already acquired you can leave the tool behind mm -hmm. and take the benefit which exactly. i think is awesome really so you really want the tools also what else can you do with the tools if you use two of the tools you can use them as a white spaceship really so you can get more spaceships by getting tools and tools is like uh, the sixth side of the of the dice because mm -hmm, you have mm -hmm. five tracks five planets and then you have the tools as well you can collect also, the game is very high in replayability. You have four different boards, basically chapters, and then within each chapter you have five scenarios. It gives different objectives, different score points, different starting spaceships. Mm. You may have ten white spaceships, or you may have three, three grey and three black to start with. A lot of variability there, and I don't know, somehow we are very good in this game when we really enjoy it, right? Hey, you are playing with the dice chunker queen. <laughs> yeah. and. I'm so excited about this game that I have already printed some uh, nice little 3D printed uh, spaceships. Oh which, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure I'm going to put a picture somewhere for you of guys course, to of see course, what, yes. <laughs> what we have because it is very nice to play with the big ships. One advantage, you cannot find the game in English. We ordered it from Amazon.de and there's not even an English rulebook in there. We found some translations on a BGG website. BGG. BGG. But otherwise, the game it's is It's a fantastic amazing. game, isn't yeah. it? How did you find out of it? I don't know. I, I think... Oh, I know how. 
there's this guy, this very wise guy, his name is Mike Delicio from Dice Tower. Mike Delicio, the wise guy. The wise guy, yes. So he had his own, like, the top 10 of uh, the year, and I picked up there. Actually, this, For One Galactics, is one out of four of a series For One Games. The other three don't look that exciting. I might be wrong in that, but this one picked my interest and... You should ask Mike Delicio, see what he thinks. Maybe he knows, yes. Maybe he knows. <laughs> What do you think, uh, Mike Delicio, about that three? <laughs> Maybe he will tell you. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Anyhow, this game is amazing. It is a solo, technically, game, but we play it in two. I think if you have, like, a child or two yeah. and you want to play something, you know, for them to throw and be entertained, I don't see how this will not be a nice and fun, uh, entertaining activity. Who's a child? You or me? Me, obviously. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it this time, I don't mind. It's very exciting and if you can get your hands on it, if for whatever reason you get to Germany or you have somebody in there, give it a try because it's a super fantastic, awesome game. Right, this was our review of For One Galactics. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you later. Bye. Bye.